the goal the goal in order to scale this brand is obviously amazing customer service. Mm -hmm. We can't have amazing customer service if our customer service department is leaving our customers unsatisfied. So I posted something on Reddit about an escalation customer service policy. Okay. Let's talk about our plans for that. Because mm -hmm. that's very important. We've been seeing, you know, with the, the, the increase in orders, um, the increase in customer demands is putting a lot of strain on our customer service department to be pressured into making decisions in order to act quickly and swiftly for customer service. But what we're finding is, is even though we're putting that pressure on them to do the, to do that, uh, you know, for face value, I guess, uh, it appears they're making, I don't want to say bad decisions. They're making bad decisions in the eyes of the customers that they're dealing with. Mm -hmm. They're not, they're not satisfied. And then when a customer is not satisfied with the response from customer service, they start popping off online, you know, and, and at some point it's just, it's just not worth it. Now I'm not willing to simply, you know, take it up the ass. That's not what I'm saying that, that we need to do. What we're, imp we're, we're going to be implementing is a customer service escalation process where if that particular situation isn't able to be solved, it goes to someone else up the food chain at the business, at the company. And that's something that wasn't really established. It was only established in the past loosely mm -hmm. based on, you know, significant distaste from a customer that was really getting crazy. So, you know, that's not something that we haven't established it yet. I want to put an SOP in place where, uh, you know, if this is happening at this point, this is when we're contacted or the, the, the people higher up are contacted because the goal, the goal in order to scale this brand is obviously, you know, amazing customer service. Mm -hmm. We can't have amazing customer service if our customer service department is leaving our customers unsatisfied. I really want to make sure that all options are, you know, exhausted before that customer leaves and they still have, a, you know, an unsatisfactory experience with our brand. Yeah. Again, if you're, if, if the situation is uncalled for, if, if it's unreasonable, then that's a different story. But if there's something that we can do to mitigate the, you know, unsatisfactory experience with the brand, I want to be able to be given that opportunity to do that and exhaust all of those options before that customer is, you know, that customer experience has ended and it's ended on a negative note.